Good day, grade 10s. In this module, we're learning about magnetism. First, before we learn about magnetism, we need to understand what are magnetic fields, electric fields, and gravitational fields. So, we let's start with a magnetic field. The definition of a magnetic field is that it is a region in space where there where another magnet or a ferromagnetic material such as iron will experience a force. And what you've got here are two diagrams of magnetic fields. Basically what we've done is they've taken magnets and they've put iron filings around and yeah you can actually see, just let me change this, you can actually see the magnetic field lines. So this line here which is going up like this across like that, that is actually an illustration of what the magnetic field lines are. I'm a terrible drawer. Whereas here what we are getting is magnetic field lines along like this. Everybody understand? Right, let's move on. An electric field is a region in space which where an electric charge will experience an electric force. And do you notice something very interesting? Do you see that it's got a very similar shape? Okay, if I go back a page, do you see that this here has got that nice curvy shape? Okay, or over here where you've got a bit of repulsion going, they've got these magnetic field lines here as well. So do you see that they've got the same shape? But you also need to learn this definition. Let's go through it again. It says an electric field is a region in space where an electric charge will experience an electric force. Right, let's talk about gravity. A gravitational field is a region in space where the mass will experience a gravitational field, a force. And if you look here, yes, Earth, and you can see that all the lines are coming towards it, okay? And if we have two masses, you can see that the field lines are very similar to if we've got, on the right-hand side here, if we've got two charges of the same type, to both in this case are positive, or over here where we've got repulsion occurring. So, let us compare them. Okay, first of all, your magnetic, electric, and gravitational field lines are the same in the following ways. They are always perpendicular to the surface. So if I draw a line, your magnetic field lines are always going to be perpendicular. Okay, perpendicular, what does that mean? It means they're at 90 degrees to the surface, okay? Secondly, they are close together near the surface of the object. And again, I'm not going to draw this, I'm just going to show you. If you look back here, do you see how nice and close they are to the surface and how they go further apart as they are away from it? Similarly here, yeah, look how nice and close they are to the surface and then they move further apart and finally here again look how dense that is very close to the surface and that is what we have that is similar in the different types of fields they are all perpendicular and they are closer together near the surface of the object so magnetic and electric field lines act the same way between two objects that if you've got, in this case we've got north and south poles and do you see it's got that beautiful shape and yeah we've got a positive and negative and we've got that beautiful shape yeah we've got repulsion occurring either to north or to south poles and we've got this lovely shape forming here do you see it? and over here do you see that? we've got the same type of shape when we've got the two positive charges would also work with two negative charges. So the magnetic and electric field lines act the same way between two objects. Right, I hope that you've understood the difference between electric fields, magnetic fields and gravitational fields. Please learn the definitions, they are very important. Thank you, Great Tens. I hope you have an awesome day.